What is up you guys, Razor here, and this was almost the most insane Octane gameplay ever. Not because it was a super high kill gameplay, but just how I used Octane as a legend. He was super useful for disengaging fights, his jump pad came in handy at the perfect times to get away when I was on 1 HP, and overall it was just a really good high damage gameplay. So keep in mind, I was specifically going for the 4k badge. I almost have them on every legend. I just need Mirage and Bloodhound, and I'll have every 4k. I almost have every 20 badge. The only one I need is a Stinky Boy Caustic 20. And I've had 19 kills on him three times. It really hurts when I killed the last guy and there was only one left. And one of the times I did it, my last kill got stolen by my teammate. So it was a big, big, big rip, but I will get that final 20 badge, and I will get those last two 4K badges. So if you want to see those videos, comment down below. If you want to see that happen, Gas Daddy 20, just let me know, and I will post that video when it happens. So the gameplay starts off at Mirage Voyage. Really interesting place to land. If you don't get a weapon, and even when you do get a weapon, nine times out of ten you're going to die because you can't hear a thing going on with the party being started. And even when the party isn't started, it can be very difficult to hear your enemies. So I was pretty fortunate that this squad wasn't insanely good. They did almost get me though, because Big Gibby, you know, he's really scary. I uh, used that stim for the G7 strafe, really helpful. This guy pushed me, soiled my pants, I'm like, oh no, what do I do? I'm really low, just thirst. Thirst and prey. Swap for the fresh blue, and I know he has one teammate left, so I just, you know, load up a little bit. I notice I have no heavy ammo, so I break the closeness, sorry. I, I put distance on this wraith because I knew I had to finish off with just a G7. I'm like, oh great, fight's over, right? Nope! Here comes the team that lands right below that says, Hey guys, let's kill the teams that are on Mirage Voyage, and we'll land down here safely, so that we have loot, and we can third-party them afterwards. Great time, great time. So, I realize that I don't really want to take that fight. They're all looted up and stacked up, so I make this awesome escape, and heal up. Now that I have low ground, though, I was, I was pretty, was pretty uh, unconfident with that fight, and I knew that there was people over here, so I get them off the fresh res. I see a guy going up top, so I immediately, immediately take cover. Just kidding. I got a loot. Shout out to Staycation. Always got a loot. Always got a loot. And I get almost beamed for it. I'm really lucky that that was a Havoc from long range. Very hard weapon to control from a range. And I say, adios amigos. Never mind, I'm gonna beam you right in the bean. Almost get the knock, but I don't, unfortunately. He uses his ult, which is pretty smart on his part. And I pretty much just go bamboozle hunting. Uh, can't find him though. Think he's underneath. That's usually where people hide, but I don't actually think you can get underneath there. And I am checking all my corners, because when you're super low like that in a space like this, you're pretty much destined to just go into a corner. But this man escaped. Like, I had no idea where this guy went. Next thing I know, KB all on my head. So I'm like, alright, better reload everything. I don't really like these vibes. I'm off the scene. I know there's another team that approached the Mirage Voyage, I heard some fighting going on. So I said adios amigos, and I went back on the ship of death. Flying onto the ship of death, uh, I pretty much fly myself right onto a new team, which is always fun. Having no light mag on my, G or on my R9 was really tough. I put the white light mag on my G7 because it gives you 5 extra shots on your G7. But it only gives you two shots on your R9, so I always recommend putting the white light mag on the G7 over R9. Blue or purple, uh, definitely going on the R9. Make my sweet escape on one HP. I'm just pretty much soiling myself at this point. I actually hit the rope that time. It was pretty sweet. If I didn't hit that rope, I'd probably be dead. And I realize I have no meds. So I just, I just bailed. I bailed. As I'm running to train yard, I hear 
uh, res ship, so I'm like, alright, cool, free kill. And I just miss all my shots. That's what I do. For some reason, when someone's running away, I'm really bad at shooting them. Especially when I know it's a free kill. I, I, I don't know why. Like, I should just run right up to them and then beam them instead of trying to just couple shots here, couple shots there, because he leads me right to this guy. I still have no meds, so I knew I had to make a big play here. I pretty much just try and beam his shield off because I know I'm about to do something psychotic. And fortunate for, fortunately for me, he only had a white. So I'd get almost break a shield in one shot, and I go for the big play. It was either die to storm or die to mirage. He somehow had no idea I jumped over his head. So here's me very desperate for a thirst because I needed a med kit so badly. And fortunately for me, he pretty much just killed himself. So get the med kit. Not sure where his third is though. I am like 80% sure he's going to come out of Storm and he's one of those randoms that lacks behind you the entire game. So I was like, alright, I'll wait around. Get a free thirst off. And I'm just like, where are you? Oh, there you are. He had gold, and how many shots did that take? Not very many. He must have been very low from the storm, even though it was only around one storm. And this man is stacked! Gold, gold, purple light mag, everything that I needed, heals, you name it, this man had it. And I was sick of dying to storm, so I was constantly checking on my health. Well, only once. So, I pretty much just psycho push onto this team. Well, multiple teams fighting. Instantly regret it because they have height over me. And I pretty much just do a bunch of rope plays on these guys. These are the hardest 1v3s you can take. Specifically on this building is when they're all sitting on the roof. They can hear you jump up the rope. And when they're all holding hands like this, it is... Like, the team fire is just going to absolutely melt you. So your movement's got to be really good. I just go back and forth on each rope and hope I can get a knock each time I go back up. Because if you don't, you better get right back down. Do not spend much time up there on that roof with three enemies. Especially when one of them is shooting a turbo devo at you. That is just the best feeling in the world. So I make this awesome escape because I see another team approaching them. And I knew I had to get to circle. So I was like, yep, no, not happening. Not going to fight these guys. Two teams while being in the storm. So I knew they had to make a move. Using the circle to your advantage is so big, especially with round two melting you. And everything up, everything above that is basically just going to end you. So got some nice shots on this wraith. Wasn't sure exactly where she went. Newer team was on me though, so I used that nasty head glitch right there. Those, there's one in that, well, there's a few in that building, and there's a few in the respawn building on the bottom floor in the same spot. Those head glitches can save you when you're super low fighting somebody that's full HP and shield. So I disengaged the fight because I realized I had like 70 light ammo and fighting two teams, maybe even three. Uh, it wasn't going to work out for me, so I start hunting around for light ammo. And I pretty much let them fight each other, because I knew there were so many teams in the area, they're destined to fight each other. So, nice little disengage on my part. And the G7 does really well after disengaging. You can just get those free knocks like this guy right here. And I basically just play it cool. I only have 100 light ammo. So I'm using every bullet wisely with the G7. I then get approached by this not-so-nice Gibraltar and Wraith. Sorry, if it's a Gibraltar, I always say Gibraltar, it's just a bad habit. And they also have G7s. Fighting a Gibby with long distance is such a dangerous move because they get that knockdown shield so quickly. And by the time that you knock their knockdown shield off, you're almost on health. If you're trading shots to 75 HP, that'll leave you at 125 if you have a purple or gold. If you have a white, you're almost dead facing a Gibby off with a G7 and he has good aim. So I disengage that, only have 87 light ammo, which sounds like it'd be enough light ammo to fight a squad, but I'm always thinking ahead. The R9 just 
absolutely shreds ammo. So I want to have, like, in a in mid game, I always want to have at least 300 light ammo. And I almost get completely punished for that thirst. I was listening in for a second, like, okay, is this teammate around? No? Okay, go for the thirst. Go for the thirst! She absolutely destroys me with that peacekeeper. Nice little shots with the G7 there. I think I like the bruiser better in the three times now, because, like, close range like that, I think the bruiser would have been a better choice. Nonetheless, worked out. And I'm hoping there's only one left on this team, but I wasn't 100% sure. And I knew that other team was still up on the big annoying building, so I said adios amigo, I'm out of here, disengaging for circle. So this push right here onto this hill is one of my most feared pushes because you are literally out in the open. Pushing up to a team on this height and having no escape basically, there's just no cover, is terrifying to me. But they were down low and I pretty much accidentally fall down right on their heads. I'm like, oh, got a blast. And I run right into this mirage. Didn't even have my R9 out. He absolutely soils me. Just destroys me. I was really sad because I knew I had almost 4,000 damage, but not quite 4,000 damage. But lucky for me, this goat of a mirage lets me go. He was smart. He knew I had a gold res, and spending that time to thirst me would have been really bad because he was hiding from the other team. So he ulted out right past the other team, and he said adios. Really, really big kudos to that Mirage for saving this gameplay. So I heal back up, and like a psycho, I just engage the fight again. Just like, hi Wraith, no loot for you. If I don't get loot, you don't get loot. I say, I really need light ammo, and I push back down, hoping there's just this lifeline left, and fortunately for me, there was, it was just a gold knock, but I heard the team right above me, there was somebody right above me when I dropped down, so I cannot grab the light ammo that I've been searching for, for like, five minutes during this gameplay, and I was pretty desperate, so I just go and loot. And pretty much I find bare bones, I find a little bit, but not enough to win this game. So I'm just like, ah, light ammo, ah, light ammo, ah, light ammo, nope. Get a light mag for my G7, that's going to burn me some more light ammo, but nope, none of that. So I use my last battery, I was running out of cells too, I had like no cells, find a little bit here, and I was just pretty much scavenging at this point. I was really hoping I'd find some death boxes down here and in this circle you do not want to be down there. So I just keep hunting around and I hear a fight up here hoping to third party this easily so that I could get you know some loot hopefully a bunch of batteries a bunch of shield cells and nice shots Razor! Nice shots! Those were absolutely beautiful shots man. Kudos to you. Really, really well done. I was disgusted with myself when I saw that, when I was finished shooting those, and when I rewatched that, I was like, oh man, I really want to cut this out of the gameplay, but I'm real, real as fudge. Try not to swear as much anymore in my gameplays as well. And basically, start tossing a bunch of Hail Marys. I was like, oh god, I really don't want to engage this. I have seven bullets in reserve. What do I do? I psycho it because I see the fight's over. Pretty sure that was the Mirage that let me go. Uh, could be wrong. So I was like, alright, peace out Mirage. No, just kidding. I left because I had no light ammo left. And I wasn't going to take the chance with my 11 shots in my G7, so I ditched. I really ditched. What do I do? Run right into another team. So I was just soiling my pants at this point. No heals, no ammo, I'm just like, alright, I guess this is the end. Uh, I didn't know what to do at this point. Only had 15 seconds left for the rain. I really should have grabbed that blue. Really regret not doing it, but I just used the two cells on my gold shield because, you know, fast heals, maybe I can get lucky and get into a box or something. But I don't end up doing that. Take the rope up for the ring. 
I'm just thinking, there's three squads left, and there's me with my 14 reserve light ammo. What do I do? I engage the fight. Why did I do this? I'm so angry at myself. All I should have done is let them fight so I could sneak up into one of those gold boxes absolutely full of ammo and heals. I engage the fight. Nice, Razor. You get a kill. What happens? You get absolutely lasered trying to loot. So that is why that was almost one of the craziest uh, Octane games of all time. But it wasn't, because I got thirsty for the kill. So there you have it, guys. When you have no ammo or loot, make sure you don't get thirsty like Razor, because it costed him an insane gameplay. Nonetheless, still really good up until the end. If you guys could just erase those last 15 seconds from your memory. It's it's an amazing gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you have a fantastic week. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.